Oh, good morning. We are on Saturday, the 20th of August, 2022. Rest in peace, Jim Gorman. Born this day, 1947. Died on a motorbike, 26th of November, 2005. Rest in peace. I'm having a mass set for you and we'll pray for you today. I'm going to be sharing with you, it is now... 10.51 a.m. and I'm supposed to be at church around midday but not for a mass that's later um, it's a gathering so I think I could arrive a bit late and I thought I'll do one of the recordings before I go so um, the mass readings for today I've heard a mass it was beautiful and um, the homily was great very helpful. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom his love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Holy Michael Archangel, defend me in this day of battle. Be my safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, I humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan and all the wicked evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Before I begin the readings, I'll tell you what they're going to be. Liturgical readings for Saturday, 20th of August, 2022. <coughs> We're week 20, ordinary time, year 2. The first reading is from the book of the prophet Ezekiel, 43, 1 to 7. So this will be the last of him for the time being. The theme, the glory of the Lord arrived at the temple. And the psalm will be Psalm 43. And we've got one of the gospel acclamations from Psalm 118 verse 29 Alleluia, Alleluia Bend my heart to your will, O Lord And teach me your laws, Alleluia Or from Matthew 23, 9 and 10 Alleluia, Alleluia You have only one Father And he is in heaven You have only one teacher The Christ And the gospel will be according to Matthew chapter 23, 1 to 12. And the theme is interesting. They do not practice what they preach. I think it's been true throughout the ages, but as long as they teach and preach, the truth is the main thing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel took me to the gate, the one facing east. I saw the glory of the God of Israel approaching from the east. A sound came with it, like the sound of the ocean, and the earth shone with his glory. This vision was like the one I had seen when I had come for, excuse me, the destruction of the city, and like the one I had seen on the bank of the river Chiba. Then I prostrated myself. The glory of the Lord arrived at the temple by the east gate, the Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. I saw the glory of the Lord fill the temple, and I heard someone speaking to me from the temple while the man stood beside me. The voice said, Son of man, this is the diocese of my throne, the step on which I rest my feet. 
I shall live here among the sons of Israel forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from Psalm 43 and the response will be The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. I will hear what the Lord has to say, a voice that speaks of peace, peace for his people and his friends. His help is near for those who fear him, and his glory will dwell in our land. Response the glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. Mercy and faithfulness have met justice and peace have embraced. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth and justice look down from heaven. Response The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. The Lord will make us prosper and our earth shall yield its fruit. Justice shall march before him and peace shall follow his steps. Response The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. <coughs> Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. Bend my heart to your will, O Lord, and teach me your laws. Alleluia. 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 You have only one Father, and He is in heaven. You have only one teacher the Christ. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Addressing the people and his disciples, Jesus said, The scribes and the Pharisees occupy the chair of Moses. You must therefore do what they tell you and listen to what they say. But do not be guided by what they do, since they do not practice what they preach. They tie up heavy burdens and lay them on men's shoulders. But will they lift a finger to move them? Not they. Everything they do is done to attract attention. Like wearing broader phylacteries and longer tassels like wanting to take the place of honour at banquets and the front seats in the synagogues, being greeted obsequiously in the market squares, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> excuse me, and having people call them rabbi. You, however, must not allow yourselves to be called rabbi since you have only one master, and you are all brothers. You must call no one on earth your father, since you have only one father, and he is in heaven. Nor must you allow yourselves to be called teachers, for you have only one teacher, the Christ. 
the greatest among you, must be your servant. Anyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and anyone who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So the reflection for Saturday, 20th week in ordinary time, 20th of August, 2022, is going to be from Matthew 23, 1 to 12. The Church is truly Catholic. It embraces all nations. There is great diversity there. Yet we are united in our faith, our hope and our love. In the Gospel reading, Jesus says that we have one Father, namely God, which means we are all sons and daughters of the one God. We belong to one family of faith under God, our Father. In recent times, I've heard the church referred to as a family of families, which is quite a new expression in the Catholic Church then. I'm not sure where that came from. In the Gospel reading, Jesus also declares that we have only one teacher, namely himself, the Christ. Within the family of the church, we are not only sons and daughters of one father, but we are also all pupils or disciples of the one teacher. The fact that as a church we acknowledge one Father, God, and one teacher, Jesus, means that whereas there is a great diversity in the church, there is a fundamental equality and unity among its members. There is no place within this spiritual family for the kind of honour-seeking that Jesus is so critical of in the Gospel reading. We are all called to keep promoting Jesus' vision of church, which he puts before us in that Gospel reading. The church as a family of brothers and sisters under one heavenly Father, striving to live the life of loving service that Jesus, our brother and teacher, models for us so fully. Yes, I think that um, Jesus shows his being the Son of God so well in these kind of gospel readings and teachings because he was so vastly different to everybody else on the planet <laughs> then and now because his teaching has come down to us and it's lasting, everlasting. And there, there's nothing better than the truth when we, we have the truth and know the truth, you fight for it, you live for it, you live it. And that's why when we're going through such difficult times now in the world and in our faith and in the church itself, those that do not live the truth, teach the truth, pervert the truth, and they're still in the church, we have to pray for them. We have to pray for their conversion back to what has been taught from this very gospel when it was first spoken of by Jesus.
those words have lived on. Only the truth can last. Everything else will disappear. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. I am going out shortly. I might do one more recording, but I see I haven't put the light on above me and the screen looks a bit dark, so I don't know whether you can see me, but that's irrelevant as long as you can hear. So God bless the rest of your day. Thank you for listening. I'm sending you God's peace in abundance. May you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. Have a great weekend. God bless.